Each artist in this exhibition, What Humanity Wants, Modern Art Search for Utopia, conveys his or her own thoughts about the current status of society. Some express their own constructed ideas on how society could or should be. Others comment on their dissatisfaction with how society has come to be. The works that follow include representations of idyllic societies, works founded in idealized versions of humanity, works promoting the potential and qualities of existing societies, and works criticizing the state of contemporary societies. This exhibition examines the use of art from the late 1800s onward to comment on humanity's unending endeavors to identify or even attain an ideal society. Set in a paradise of tropical beauty, the Tahitian sunlight, color, and freedom that Gauguin left everything to find was his vision of happiness. Paul Gauguin's Where Do We Come From, What Are We, Where Are We Going, illustrates his pursuit of a society that was simpler and more elemental than that of his homeland. The subject of Yorge Seraz, a Sunday afternoon on the island of Le Grand Jatte, enjoy the leisure of their bourgeoisie status. Seraz emphasizes the emerging middle class's dismissal of the old world's traditions by showing a renouncing of realist formal technique. The joy of life is traditionally considered to be Henri Matisse's fervous manifesto, and it encompasses a dichotomy between form and content that paves the way for his future work. By combining a classical subject matter with a revolutionary formal technique, Matisse utilizes the heavenly idealized state of humanity with the modern advances. The futurists believed in embracing technology and leaving society's customs and traditions behind in pursuit of a modern world. Umberto Boccioni's The City Rises establishes the importance of technology and the innovativeness of the futurist movement. In Kazmir Malevich's suprematist composition, White Square on White, he pursues the blissful sense of pure feeling. His piece conveys Malevich's idealist views of the world in which there would be a complete renunciation of materiality. Le Corbusier's A Contemporary City of 3 Million Inhabitants is a design for a metropolitan utopia. Le Corbusier glorifies the phenomenon of the modern-day industrial metropolitan city by accommodating for vehicular transport and glamorizing the engineering ability of the newly mastered skyscraper. Vera Makinas, the worker and the collective farm worker, symbolizes the unity between the industrial and agricultural workers. With the hammer and sickle raised to the heavens, they confidently gaze into the future of their society. In James Rosenquist's F111, the viewer is confronted with bold images of American consumerism. However, once the eye adjusts to the flurry of colors, we see it obscuring the events of war. By Americans veiling the realities of bloodshed with the short-term satisfaction of consumerism, Rosenquist communicates a denial of reality in order to seek contentment. Violence, Violence, Silence by Bruce Noman emits an entertaining and playful essence. By repeating these closely linked words, Noman evokes the childhood merriment of a tongue twister. The words violence, violence, and silence are each a beginning, middle, and end of a moment so heavenly it is preceded by symphonic strings and ensued by speechlessness. Faith Mingled uses traditional quilt to express that true happiness is in the simple pleasures, rather than wealth and extravagance. Ringgold's Who's Afraid of Aunt Jemima depicts the experiences of the African-American community and their hopes of gaining happiness through wealth. Her dissatisfaction with the treatment of African Americans in society encouraged her to dedicate her work to communicating the experiences of the African American community. Each artist in this exhibition creates in his or her work a response to society constructed by humanity. This exhibition includes commendations and critiques of the state of the world in which the artist lived, imaginings of an ideal world, and renderings of ideal societies.
The search for an exemplary society through art leads to conveyances of dissatisfaction with the current condition of the world and, in some cases, a return to an idealistic fantastical paradise. This exhibition shows art's power and potential in serving as a vehicle to alter the structure of society and inspire change in humanity. Our ancient spoon.